Oh yeah, it was a Curia snipe. What was it that got killed in the Curia? I think it was just a salve on the bat rat or something like that. Like the bottle is still up on the IO, so like I was gonna say if you lose the bottle with the Curia, that would be awful for the IO, but uh, that was not the case. Bottom line, we do have Pablo just, you know, trying trying his very best to block Dale in place. And it looks like Dale will be taken down here. They're going very, very deep for this kill. Pablo is going to take a lot of damage, but he will get the first blood on Dale. And that is your underlord right here, not having the best time. He doesn't have a single... That was uh, very fast game to rotate. Also, like, even though Dale died on the offlane, it's not that big of a problem. I mean, there is much more important, you know, to, to shut down Naga, for example, who is dying the second time. Probably Slash Strike is going to down to die. Aki is trying to kill him, but Ayo is healing him up and he's dying under the tower. But it was a pretty, pretty good trade still, even though he died. We didn't make a business combination, so please, why not? But nope. I guess they're still in <laughs> He prefers like creeps over sitting into some horny no sense of life. With the rotation, Slash Strike will be Clemens back. Looks like this is going to be the target. Slash Strike tries to survive a little bit, but looks like he will be taken down slowly by the Ricky. Nice use of the Fiend's Grip onto the lifestyle, but they don't really have the follow up damage now that the Bat Rider is dead. So he is not going to be surviving. Pablo will be nuked down by Sini, though, so that is going to be a 3 for 2 trade off in the end. And you never want Pablo is in the top lane in the back line, so I think they used a scan, but they didn't actually see him. There's a lot of things happening. That's Pablo being like, I see Jang. We do relocate coming into the top lane, though. They sleep up the darks here. Yeah, they want to take this fight. We do have the trouble getting a nice side so much. Hitting the bad runner, keeping him in place. The eye will be taken down. Now, um, Medusa popping his ultimate as well. Not able to do anything because of the sleep. <laughs> the sleep. He, uh, he hit the darks here, yeah, and then, you know, they didn't take away the sleep. So it was a little bit of a clowny fest, but Pablo will be taken down by the Mystic Snake. We do have the Nagasan going for the sleep now. And and they are surrounding the dude, so they want to get this little slash frag. It's like, I, I'm coming, I'm coming, want to help buy back on the IO as well. Jang dropping very low, will be taken down. They will have the lasso on. The Darkseid, the Darkseid will be burning down, will be taken down. 2 for 2 trade so far. Deal gets sent back with the Glimpse slash frag now. He's getting run down by Gore. Gork will get this kill. He will pop his trade. They're trying to TP out slash frag, barely keeping his over line. Will take it, be taken down. He will be killed as Gork will get a triple kill that in Fest Bomb. Will seal the deal and. The IO and Dale will be gone. Pretty, pretty bad. They get a mechanism on the Underlord. Finally, so why wouldn't they try to push? Oh, Pablo, the though. Underlord. No, Dale, sorry, though. In the bottom lane, this is a lot of heroes, and it looks like he'll be yep. taken down. They're trying to keep him alive, though. They will relocate him a little bit back, just keeping him in the fight, but out of danger. He will be using that mechanism as well. Slash back to use the. the, the What's it called? Lasso. Dale is trying to get a kill out. He will survive, but no, he will get Flims back. Dale will not be allowed to escape this one. As Aki, he's saying no thank you. We now have this league coming out. They're waiting for the cooldowns to be reset on their spells. They have the wall available. This is looking dangerous. The static storm was more with a setup. Three people called from Shadow Sharks. This is looking dangerous as well. They have a very, very nice combo coming out. Yeah, I will drop down. They actually don't bring down anyone else as Jank comes in with the saving grace for the stone gaze. God will be taken down because of that being stoned up. And now if they can bring down the Nagasan, that could be big. Uh, yeah, that good. was actually so amazingly well played by the both teams. They are trying to probably kill the slash strike. They are trying to trade. But I guess Slash won't have enough damage yet. But like he trades for the he trades for the Aki, it's really good. Will they be able to take down the Pablo? But no, they don't have the protection for him right now and he gets away that... well yeah here the game actually begins and it looks like they will try to kill Excalibur one more time they know that he got no sleep well, right, it looks like it's a trick. Who is solo, and they will have the final hit from Jan. Is hitting uh, no miss Jan is there. In the meantime, we do have the last one coming up from the back line. The back line is on for the disruptor, keeping him from using his static bomb a little bit. Looks like he will not even be able to use it. We'll pop it finally, but it's not really doing too much. We have the stone gaze coming out onto Gorgog. Pops this round. He's like, I'm fighting here. This is my place to fight. Now he's trying to get to the TP out. They don't have any way to actually cancel this. This so is already being used, and no last or no anything else. So he realized that, okay, I can just TP out. But nope, he's, uh, he's stuck here. I'm not sure what happened. Like, did he stop the TP? What what, what, what uh, I guess he just wanted to fight more. He's trying to bring down the Slash Strike, but there is too much control. 
Of course, using his old probably he will try to bring someone down, but it's just like not enough damage. And he's he's the alone fighting and dealing damage. It looks like they will try to kill some more slash strike that are ill. Scepter it may will the Toxia die? He won't be able to survive this, and that was a pretty pretty good turn. They uh, like losing your your life so that's probably the worst thing that can happen right now. Mm, probably Slash Rank is going to have rolls here and he may gonna die here. In, set up, but the storm, static storm comes out. The IO is taking a lot of damage. Looks like he may be taken down in the back on the a lot, but the Raiders will burn him down. Aku will be taken out by Dale in the meantime. Jank, all right, I'm gone as well. We do have a the, the sleep coming out now, though. The roof just keeps it flying. We have the fire back on to disrupt us. Well, as they want to commit for this, they want this is the fight they want to just overly destroy Jank. He's getting himself out. We do have Dale trying to get himself out. We'll get that uh, getaway as there's no comes available on the disruptor. And Jang, Saini, can they escape? They are getting hunted. Jang, if he gets killed, that could be worth it. But let's see what they can do to stop this from happening. Dale's coming in, round two, popping that root. Vacuum comes in, keeping him in position. Gok is running him down. Jang taking a lot of damage here. Bane has already been killed on the high ground, and now the Naga's coming back in. The Rick is coming in. Jang dropping down very, very low. Will be killed. Dale, do they have the vision? They have the vision. They will glimpse him back, and this is going to be the last one standing. Io is peeking into the mid lane, but he will have to cancel that. Of course, there's nothing he can do. You know, farming the. Farming the camp's radiance scan coming out, trying to spot out. They will actually see that they're coming up this cliff, so maybe we'll have a little little fight coming out here. Pablo will be the first one that goes in. Pablo on the will go in. They will try and kill the eye on the back lines. The sleep comes out. Maybe not really what you want to have happening, but the static storm could be the setup they're looking for. They will pop the static storm. They will set it up and do some little bit in trouble. I will be taken down instantly. It looks like the battle will be vacuumed into the static storm. It comes out from Dale. Mechanism as well, keeping people alive. But Jang has already been taken down, and this is Shark's time to just get the hell away. They will try and bring everyone back with them and indeed they will so the three last people will survive but again sharks losing two heroes and getting nothing as the turnaround with the shrub, though, that's a scary item that's actually pretty big and i really like the way he decided to pick up eggs as soon as possible Slash goes in, but again, the Ricky is going to be the first one he meets. He will be able to use the defense rules to survive. Lasso came out on the life cell, but he will be taken down. Now he has a slash with Jang in the back line, put that relocate in. Nice using the stone gaze, keeping everyone controlled. But the song came out from Excalibur instantly, just making sure no one does anything. Ake is the one infested now as well. Relocate back out from the Medusa, so they will survive. But in the meantime, we have the rest of the Sharks team fighting and they are dropping very very low will not be able to use too many spells jang is coming back in now celery will be focused on will be taken down by the looks of things and that is going to be three dead tp back from one jang will survive but everyone else is dead as sharks they lose four heroes all building scaling items so the longer this game goes on the the, the more favorable the whole team fight looks just because of that knack of sleep you don't really have a way to deal with that sleep and now Jang in the background is getting jumped on that, so very very big jump, he does get a stone gaze off, so we'll be able to reset this a little bit, we have the sleep coming out from Excalibur, Bad Rider just fighting with that MJ, that BKB still, we have the Fiend Script in the side, being stopped by that Fiend back, Static Storm coming out, vacuum into that Static Storm, and this is an acronym Static Storm, but the IO was already having that relocate use, we'll be able to keep Jang safe, Bad Rider will be surviving for the time being, will play himself away, everyone is live on the side of Sharks, this is a very very long fight, Bane will be the first one dropping down, Gawk, very very low, doesn't have his, his Aegis available anymore, will be picked off. One for one trade off, this time fearing the side of Sharks as they manage to just survive through the, the, the static zone, survive through everything. Excalibur with his song off cold on again now, will just, you know, stop them in their tracks, TP out, and make sure that there's not going to be any kind of chase potential, so. Then just hit the building or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and you're just full again. Yeah, it is. Butterfly's not complete on the Naga sign, so uh, he didn't go for the Diffusion Blade in the end. I like that. I don't think the Diffusion Blade is necessary. Like, you just need to hit the this place when you don't really care about just killing people on the lock. We'll keep himself back to the base, reaching up, but oh god, it's taking a lot of time to get Lasso will be used. They will finally bring down that Aegis of the Light, so they will not let him get back out with another, like, refreshed region, whatever time, Gog. Let's try and fight up against this bad rider. Do you have the static storm available? Will they use it? Let's see if they go for it. Oh, fuck, it's a little bit too late. BKB does come up from Slash Rack, Billy 
the throw against the ladder. Jack goes in with a stone gate from the sidelines. Looks like they may actually be able to win this fight as the trucker will be taken down. He still will be lifted up into the egg. August trying to fight up against this. Dale is alive for the time being, taking a lot of damage. Infest came out onto the Ricky. Try uh, no, the Doxy, sorry, trying to run away. The Ricky will be taken down. The Doxy is running. He is trying to blink himself away. We do have the relocate forward, but they do not have. They're not close enough. They're not close enough. They don't have the jump on the Doxy, sadly. They will get two kills, but. There, what's it called? Vladimir. It makes, makes sense. Like Muldi and Vladimir and all that good stuff just to push out waves. That is what they have to do to keep that base alive. The Bat Rider still keeping his eyes on that four stuff, but I don't know, man. It's it's going to be a late four stuff if he wants to buy it now. We do have the sleep coming out onto the Naga Siren, keeping him alive for the time. And we do have the relocate coming out from the aisle, relocating Medusa way as that was that was a very very big jump with the static storm and all that good stuff on one hero. Like that was definitely not. Uh, I mean, with an eye on your team, like, that's not gonna happen, right? You're not gonna just kill one person. Uh, the Ricky gets taken down as well. Now we do have Aki infested up by the, by the life still. They want to get a pick off. Slash strike, self lose. Does have the BKB available as well. We have Vacuum the Ball coming out. The Bane will be taken down. And it looks like that is going to be a 1 for 1 trade off in the end as Gog does get one kill. They still try and keep on fighting on the side of Fort. Here we go, the BKB being popped. Gog going in, Lotus up on him from the Dark Seed, just, you know, taking away all of the nasty spells. And in the meantime, the Naga Siren is doing its thing. You know, another range track that's been taken down in the bottom lane. So you really want to be able to get to that point without having to lose too many buildings. And we'll see. Excalibur doing his thing in the bottom lane. And in the meantime, Sharks is gathering up top. They know that Gog is going in, trying to do something. Gog is taking a lot of damage here, though. He will be able to heal himself a little bit. But Gog is actually dropping down so goddamn quickly. The Aegis will be popped. In the meantime, bottom lane, we do have the Naga Sun trying to push down. They will be able to take down the Batarat. They will take the Melorak for the looks of things as well. As that is going to be another building going their way. The Lifestyle will get himself away as he did not fest one of the creeps. They will get a glimpse back on the Fane. The Dark Sip barely keeping himself alive. And look in the base. The Melorak in the mid lane is not being taken down. We look, it comes in as Medusa is not being sent to the mid lane trying to fight up against this. The Batrider will buy it back as well. They want to take this fight and they have to. They will go for the last one for the Nagas and they finally caught him and they will be able to bring it down. But Pablo goes in, brings down the Melorax himself as that is two Melorax down on the side of, Sang of Sanguine Sharks. Rock in the top lane is getting controlled up by the, uh, by the Medusa so he will be taken down as well. Double kill two Sharks. They get the two big cores in the meantime. They are pushing out the lanes as much as they can. They are pushing out top. Medusa keeping the lane mid pushed out. Bad right at bottom lane. And if they can get these lanes pushed out, they can try and go for a fight. We do have the Bane finding an ultimate target here. We do have the Nagasaren going in with the Sleep. The Medusa popping that. Stone Gaze as well. The Sleep will end very soon. Medusa keeping herself alive. And he's going to along his side. He's doing a lot. The wall comes out. And this is Medusa all on her own. He will be taken down. As that is a very, very big take of rape here on the ground, and this could be just the end uh, out of that one single team fight. They used everything they had on Hall. They will bring down the, the, the kiddo, and uh, I guess I guess Dale was like, I'm gonna go in and pick up your rape here, bro. But uh, that did not work. Almost everyone, they got forced to buy back and do it, but they kept the rape here. Like, you know, if you didn't have the rape here, I'm pretty sure that's a GG, but uh, this is like another hope. Let's see the go in. We have the bad rider going for the last one. So the Nagasan, the Nagasan gets brought back. This is a big pick Can you kill her? And you can indeed, as the song came up, but a little bit too late. As you will be just uh, burned down. The disruptor got killed as well. And that is two more pick to the side of Sanguine Sharks. He adventurously attempt to for the Sanguine Sharks to reach the high ground. Here comes the Dusa Illusion, which deals a lot of damage, but the original one is like much stronger. Like, you're all fake to the core. Yeah, the Jang is doing a lot of damage. The Melorax will be taken down very, very low. The fortification comes out. They still have 8 seconds to go before the, before the Nagas back up. It looks like they want to just keep on fighting Jang. He's being kept in place. Now he will be walking himself away. They want to get that glimpse though. Pablo is giving wish. He's going in. Root comes out from Dale on that Unblock. The Hex comes out from E-Skill. Uh, so getting lasted up now. Jang goes in tries to get that damage down. But that is that is ultimate on ultimate action. As both sides have those ultimates coming out. Now Ak coming with a static storm. Looks like the Medusa is going to be a little bit in trouble here. Again, he will be fighting as much as he can. But he is dropping. Dropping low, the bad rider has already been taken down. The Deuces man fighting and man fighting and man fighting. Gog is dropping very low. Looks like he will be able to survive this man fight as Jang is a little bit too tanky. Everyone will be taken down inside of Hulk. Triple buyback coming out as Shark to survive. They only lose the bad rider. They get everyone killed. Four buybacks.
They want to take this fight, they're just massively TPing and we do have Dale going for the TP out. Oh, the ultimate, they are like, they know that what's happening, they know that Horde is like, just like, running them down, but they will survive, they will go back to the base with Jang and that's... ...must go for another AP, so, and with four buybacks expended by Horde, like, if you lose people, that could be dangerous, like, that is, there's still no Mega Creep, so you can push out of the base, not that difficult to do, and now we have Excalibur going in with an aggressive sleeve, they want to go in deep, they're going in, they want to see who they can get, they're going on the Medusa, they want to just commit everything for her, again we do have the IO trying to relocate, but sadly that is going to be cancelled, do the Medusa a little bit in trouble, but he's man fighting again, again Skull, Gog is taking so much damage, Gog is very much low, dropping down as he is dead, we have E skill in the back lines, looks like he is spotted out as well, they know he's sitting there, they will find him, he's going for the TP out, and they will just let him go, as they have other things they want to do, they will push out the lanes again, and let's see if Shaxx can indeed go for this push, they will go for the GG push, by the looks of things, they will take that, the tower down very, very quickly, there's no fortification available, I believe, as that tier 4 tower will drop down very quickly, we have the lasso, that is on the Naga Siren, as if the Naga drops, that could be the end, the sleep, the, the sound comes out, but he's burning, he's burning, he will be taking down 1 of 10 seconds on cooldown, life steals back up, but they've already lost their heroes, and now Gorg is trying to fight up, Bane, does have a sleep available, will force off himself away, looks like this is going to be the GG, as Gorg, I don't know if he can fight alone here, the, the Ancient will be taken down. That was such a manly kind of comeback by the Sanguine Sharks.